This is John testing the audio. The audio is clipping. So I'm turning down the audio so that it doesn't clip. I don't want it to clip. And so I'm turning it down. Test, testing the audio. Hello, everyone. It's John DeLynn. Um, I am uh, releasing this quick uh, Mormon Stories episode as a really important announcement. Um, it's April 2nd, 2020. We're in the middle of the coronavirus COVID-19 uh, global pandemic. I'm working a lot from my uh, private Mormon Story studios here in Holiday, Utah. 
and uh, I've had a lot of time to reflect over over the pandemic, and I've had a, a creative impulse uh, that I'm really excited about, and so I just wanted to announce it and um, share it with you guys, and I'm hoping that um, you'll be as excited about this as I am. Uh, what I'd like to do is announce uh, a new project under the Mormon Stories podcast banner called the uh, Thriving After Mormonism Project. And uh, here's what it is. It's basically a project where we want to profile on the Mormon Stories podcast page uh, post-Mormons and progressive Mormons who are thriving in their lives. Um, now, we already do that in the form of interviews, long-form interviews. We've been doing that for a long time. But uh, there's a couple um, opportunities here. Number one is there's a lot of people out there who don't have time to listen to a six- or a ten-hour interview uh, that want or need support. Uh, there's a lot of people that just want to read kind of the, the uh, distilled sort of aggregate uh, perspectives on a faith crisis. Um, there's also uh, a lot of people that I don't always have time to uh, interview in the short term. A huge backlog of, of great, uh, inspiring people whose stories need to be told, um, but, you know, uh, you know, calendar doesn't immediately permit. And so uh, this Thrive Beyond Mormonism project is going to let, hopefully, uh, dozens of you, if not hundreds of you, share your stories on Mormon Stories podcast. Um, page uh, today or soon. Um, the target audience for this project, I guess primarily, is uh, is people who are doubting or questioning Mormonism and or have lost their faith in Mormonism but are super afraid to pursue uh, their questions or their doubts or to leave Orthodox Mormonism or Mormonism altogether. Um, we, we want this project uh, to let those people know that they're not crazy, that they're not alone, that they shouldn't be afraid to doubt or question uh, Orthodox Mormonism, and that most importantly, they can find healing and growth beyond Orthodox Mormonism or beyond Mormonism altogether. There are a couple, uh, there, there's some secondary purposes as well. This allows uh, those of you who are interested to sort of stand in your truth, to bear your testimony to the world of where you stand uh, in terms of thriving after Mormonism. It's meant to be positive. It's meant to be uplifting. Um, the purpose is not to down, uh, downgrade or, or, or criticize the church. It's simply to uh, shine a light and let people know that, uh, that there are tens or hundreds of thousands of, uh, thousands of us out there who are thriving uh, after losing our faith in Orthodox Mormonism. Uh, so who am I looking for? A uh, hundred post-Mormons or progressive Mormons who will uh, answer 20 questions that I've put together. Uh, it needs to be people that would consider themselves as thriving. Now, that doesn't mean they're flawless or perfect, living a perfect life. In fact, part of thriving beyond Mormonism is to... Uh, acknowledge the messiness of life and the imperfections of life and to come to accept them. So I'm not looking for perfect people. I'm looking for people who just feel like they're happier or healthier than they were when they were in the church. That's the only criteria. Um, so what I've done is I put together uh, 20 questions uh, that each person uh, reflects upon and answers in written form. You can go to mormonstories.org and find the Thriving After Mormonism Project post uh, mixed in there with all the other podcasts. Uh, this will be its own episode of Mormon Stories Podcast. And what you'll do is you'll answer, you'll reflect upon and answer these 20 questions. Questions like, um, you know, what parts of Mormonism were most useful to you? What uh, doctrinal or theological parts of Mormonism were most important to you? What spiritual experiences did you have as a Mormon? How did you lose your faith in Mormonism? What parts of Mormonism were harmful to you? How do you now explain the spiritual experiences that you had as an Orthodox Mormon? Um, what was transitioning out of Mormonism like for you? What was most painful about it? What was most healing about it? What was most joyful about it? In what ways did church leaders help the transition? In what ways did church leaders or members hurt you uh, in your transition? What resources were most helpful in your transition? What mistakes did you make in your transition? 
Um, how has your transition affected your family relationships, your friendships, your job, your neighborhood relationships, your social life? Um, and uh, other questions like, uh, what, what beliefs have you retained after your faith crisis? What ways have your beliefs or behaviors changed? What aspects of your life are better and what's still missing? And then what final advice would you give folks who are transitioning? Once you've had the chance to reflect on and write answers to these 20 questions, you'll find that it's healing and cathartic in and of itself without uh, even being published. Um, so we think that this will be useful to you even if you don't want to share your story with others. However, uh, we also, what we're going to do is we're going to create a blog post of everyone's submissions. So I'll edit them, review them, and then we'll publish them. I'm hoping to publish one a day over the next 100, 200, 300 days. Um, and then I'll be uh, picking people from these submissions to interview on Mormon Stories podcast. And um, I hope to draw on excerpts uh, of these essays for a book that I'm writing uh, called uh, Thriving, you know, The Gift of the Mormon Faith Crisis. And uh, it's a book that I've been wanting to write for a long time, and I'm using this pandemic coronavirus sort of situation to work on this book. So uh, I'm excited about it. I think this is going to help a lot of people. If you're interested, uh, again, go to the website, um, submit, uh, your, um, submit the answers to the questions. Um, I'll also need you to send in a photo. Uh, send me an email that has Thrive Interview um, in the subject heading. And we need you to know that once you submit um, your, your answers to these questions, that, that you'll be giving us the rights, me, the rights to put um, your answers and photo up on the website and to use your uh, answers and, or, or photo in uh, books or, or videos that I end up wanting to put together in the future. Um, already we have, if, if you go to mormonstories.org slash thrive, uh, we already have four amazing essays up. Ryan Bush, Heidi Darling, Becca Barton, DeGrizio, um, and Brock Hancock. And so you can get a sense for the existing uh, essays that are up there or, or uh, profiles that are up there. And then, of course, uh, if you go to um, the mormonstories.org slash podcast slash thriving dash after dash mormonism dash project. You can get the rules and the questions for your own submission. Uh, so we hope you uh, are excited, as excited about this as I am. Uh, we really look forward to your submissions. Um, uh, several people are writing in right now um, on Facebook Live. Cynthia says good morning from South Australia. Hey, Cynthia, thanks for joining us. Sue writes, yes, there is a beautiful life beyond Mormonism. Thanks, Sue. I hope you will consider submitting uh, your own profile. Uh, Jessica asks, is there space for an ex-Mormon now Catholic who is studying a master's in theology? Yes, Jessica, that's a great question. This is not for people who necessarily become atheists or agnostics. In fact, there's even room for people who are progressive Mormons who remain in the church. Uh, the criteria is people who are thriving beyond Orthodox Mormonism, technically. So most are going to be progressive, are going to be post-Mormons. But if you are a progressive Mormon and you're willing to share your profile, um, there's an extra question there about how you've navigated staying in the church as a semi-believer or a non-believer. But yes, Jessica, if you've left and joined another church, another religious tradition, we would, we would be thrilled because we want lots of diversity. We want ethnic diversity. We want uh, gender uh, diversity, age diversity, theological diversity. Um, cultural diversity, international, geographical diversity, singles, marrieds, young, uh, middle-aged, old, uh, racial diversity, everything. So, so yes, uh, we'd love to have you. Amy, uh, glad you like the idea of this project. Uh, Brittany says, thank you so much. It's so nice to be seen and to have such a great community of people going through. Yes, Brittany, and that's, that's a really important part of this is uh, if you're in a faith crisis, if you're struggling, if you feel alone, if you feel crazy, if you feel afraid, you can go to these essays, you can get tips, you can get tricks, you can get inspiration, and most importantly, you can get hope, because we want to give everyone hope that they can find healing and joy um, after leaving the church. All right, so, uh, so anyway, you guys are awesome. I hope uh, you value this project as much as I do. I really look forward to your submissions. 
If you have any questions, please uh, email me at mormonstories at gmail.com. And uh, I hope you'll spread the word. If you know anybody that you think would be a great uh, addition to this project, please uh, forward this uh, episode to them. Let them listen to it. And uh, we can't wait to see your submissions soon um, on the project. All right, everyone, that is the Thriving After Mormonism Project. Uh, hope you're having a great, or uh, I hope you guys are doing well during this pandemic. I know that things are about to get really serious. Um, we want to send our heartfelt thanks and appreciation to all doctors and nurses and medical professionals, uh, anyone who is suffering or working uh, or struggling uh, during this pandemic. We want to send our heartfelt love and support to um, anyone who currently has the coronavirus or COVID-19 or their loved ones. Uh, we want to remind everyone to please stay home, please stay safe, uh, please take this very seriously, please engage in, in social distancing, know that this is very serious, and uh, we're super happy to know that the Mormon Church is finally listening and has recalled many of its missionaries home, and we hope that it uh, follows up and calls all Mormon missionaries home until this pandemic is over. Uh, thanks again for all your support. and. Um, if you have ideas for this project or uh, anything else, questions, again, please email me at mormonstories at gmail.com. You guys are awesome. Uh, I hope to see you in the coming weeks and months, and let's get through this hard time, and we'll have other great things in store um, on Mormon Stories Podcast and elsewhere. Thanks, everybody. You guys take care, and we'll see you all again super soon. Bye-bye.